how to install WordPress on Windows 10 operating system. If you haven't downloaded already, simply download the latest version of WordPress. Since WordPress is dynamic content management system, we need a web server running on Windows 10. The popular one is XM for Windows. Simply go to apachefriends.org and download XM for Windows. Once that is downloaded, simply press on the executable XM application. Now, I've already installed it, but I just want to show you a couple of insights here. By default, it's going to give us warning for Windows 10 operating system. Now, it's to do with antivirus, right? I'm using Norton 360, so therefore, it, this overrides Windows 10 user controls or firewall settings. But if you're not using antivirus programs, and all you need to do then is make sure private networks are allowed, okay? So you may need to turn off firewall for a second or two while you're installing it and so on. But if you run into any issues due to firewall settings on Windows 10, I am more than certain we need to enable private networks. And then you simply install XM. Now, by default, it's going to install it in C drive into a folder called XM. Remember, there is a control options here, XM control executable file. I can always press on that to start the control panel. But upon installation, it's going to give you an icon on the taskbar so you can access it quickly and easily as well. Okay? For us to install WordPress, we need to press on Apache. Let's start our Apache web server. Then let's start MySQL as well. And while here, let's press on admin to see what happens. And let's press on PHP my admin. And what happened here? I've got an error. It's saying access denied. Let's try to fix that up quickly. Let's press on MySQL my admin. This is actually smart for you to, to understand how to quickly fix a couple of important factors, as in troubleshooting issues because you're going to see them one way or another okay if you're going to install wordpress work locally developing your website and so on or learn how wordpress works you're definitely gonna hit the the walls every now and then such as access denied wrong username and all that stuff right so let's press on config let's press on my.ini while here let's close this let's go to this pc let's go into our xm folder here we have MySQL folder that's making your MySQL database work. In there we have bin folder and there we have my.ini. Right click, you can open it with Notepad++ or even just a Notepad or even Dreamweaver if you're using it. Yeah, if you want to you know, really learn web development and so on, you definitely should be using Dreamweaver, okay? So then let's do this. Let's type just underneath MySQL D within brackets. Let's say skip hyphen grant tables. And let's save the document. On Windows, on our keyboard, Control S saves it as well. That's the shortcut key. It will definitely be handy for you if you don't know it. Okay, so now we've done that. So let me stop MySQL. Let me also stop Apache server. Let's press start, start again. This is smart option to troubleshoot every now and then. If you run into issues, just stop the web server and MySQL server and restart them again. Now let's press on admin. And voila, I'm logged into PHP my admin here. Let's press on databases. Let's say my WordPress site. Let's create a database. Or we can say my WordPress database. It's smart to name things properly at the start. Leave things at default. This is to do with encoding and so on. Usually default is all good enough for 99% of the cases. You will only need to change this if you're going to create a website built on different language. 
languages such as perhaps Arabic, Chinese, Thailand, whereby encodings are different, as in character sets are different. But default is always good enough, right? So let's create our database. On the left hand side, you can see we've just got a database. Now we can install WordPress into that database. Once I press on that database, now the PHP My Admin screen, all these options are to do with a database called My WordPress Database. The structure, there's no tables in there. We can't search anything because basically it's empty. Let's press on privileges. Here, the username root. Okay, but as you can see, we can do a couple of different things here. We can edit privileges. We can change password and it's actually a smart idea to get into to start using smart passwords so i think by default there is no password that means we can leave the password fields when installing wordpress empty but that wouldn't be smart instead simply choose a password here and then press on go when you press on go, that database operation will occur. Okay, so remember, when you're working with PHP, making any changes, press on go. It is more than unlikely that you will need to play around with the database. We just need to have a database so we can install WordPress. But let's imagine, for whatever reason, once you create the password, something is wrong. Then go to Apache Friends community, because here you can set or change root password as well okay so now we've got our database we know the user which is named root and the password i've already changed it because it's only smart right so now let's go and install wordpress the downloaded wordpress folder is a zip folder simply extract it then grab whatever is in there and right click copy go into my pc go into c drive go into xm folder and remember ht docs this is where the action happens so let's create a new folder let's say let's say rankia that's the name of my um, folder where i'm going to install wordpress now everything is copied straight that means when I visit localhost forward slash rankia, that means since I have Apache working and MySQL all working, and I've actually got a database created, right? So now, because I've placed all the WordPress files and folders into that folder, that means when I press enter, look what happens. That's the beauty of WordPress. That's why it's so popular. Select the language you'd want to install WordPress for. Let's press continue. Here it's going to say, okay, welcome to WordPress. Here's what we need. Let's press on, let's go. The database name was my WordPress database. So I can write click and copy the name or I can press on I can highlight the database name control C paste the database name the root is the user the password I've actually changed it because it's just smart database host is local host table prefix you can actually leave it by default but that's never smart when you're creating WordPress sites table prefix default is WP underscore that's a default and hackers rely on that for live sites that's why you want to make th their job hard by giving it a unique name for your table prefix so let's copy this table prefix let's press on submit all right sparky you've made it through this part of installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you're ready let's run the installation site name give it anything you want username remember it's smart to write things down because this is for your your wordpress dashboard 
and let's say username is Renkia. Okay, let me actually write these down because then I can. That was the table prefix. That is that. Username is that. It generates an automatic password, but you can actually modify that to make it a bit more strong. And you should always do this for any live sites. Username is this, password is this. So now let's your email. It's smart to give a email here. Let's say hello at rankio.com.au. Discourage search engines from indexing the site since it's a local host. You can enable, disable. Remember, on a live site, if you have this checked, that means search engines like Google can't see a live site. Okay, but at this stage, it's a local installation. So let's press install WordPress. WordPress has been installed successfully. Thank you and enjoy. Let's log in now. Look at this URL. It's localhost, a folder called Rankia. In there is all the WordPress files and folders. wp-config, if you right click and edit, here is the database name. Here is the user for that database. Here's the password. And down the bottom, that's the table prefix. Okay, so remember that. You may need to tweak that around later on. In fact, that's a very important file for WordPress. So now let's log into our dashboard. Since we've written things down, it's just made of copy paste. You can press on remember me. So that means you can always log into your WordPress site using your favorite browser. Here is your WordPress dashboard. You can anytime visit your site. And this is the local installation of WordPress. Here you have settings and the rest of the menu options. All of them are covered at Rank Your YouTube channel, which you should definitely subscribe because I show you easy methods as well as different troubleshooting techniques concerning WordPress, concerning Google, and how to get better results on the internet. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.